Hi, I'm Adam Broadway, taking you through the new email marketing enhancements inside Business Catalyst. We now have exclusion lists and smarter campaign delivery status reports. There's a fresh set of email newsletter templates and thumbnails, and we're leveraging even more of our all-in-one features where you can insert dynamic modules as email-friendly content. That way your clients' latest news, blog posts, product sales, web app items can automatically populate an email campaign and using our custom template feature you can ensure email friendly formatting. So let's take a walk through the creation of a campaign. You'll provide the usual details in steps 1 and 2 of an email campaign creation. Step 3 is where new changes can be seen. The send to recipient list will automatically display any opted in contacts, mailing lists and saved custom reports that you can include in this campaign. And now the exclude option allows automatic removal of recipients who meet other criteria. For example, sending to everyone who has opted in except those who have recently purchased a specific product or have already attended an event or any other custom report criteria that you've defined. In step 4, we have a whole set of fresh new email templates with specific themes for events, news, products and sales. And you can choose from any of those and if you're using existing email templates, those that you've set up for your clients provided through your partner portal, be sure to update the thumbnails there. In step 5, this is where it gets really cool. Notice that we've now got a new look module manager. It's changed to be in line with the Dreamweaver CS6 Business Catalyst panel. As you'll notice, the icons used between CS6 in Dreamweaver and the Business Catalyst module panel are all very similar now. Now all of the modules listed here can be inserted inside an email campaign and assigned a custom module template using the new template file location syntax. Now be sure to watch the separate video on creating custom module templates. So an example would be to insert a product module where the products your client has tagged as being on special will be automatically included as email content. Or including a specific product on the email campaign. Or add a web app module where the web app is specifically created to make it easy for your clients to maintain email content without touching the email campaign at all. And another example where the latest news announcements are included in the broadcast. So as you can see, saving this and using the default list layouts for these modules will not be email friendly. This is where the custom template feature comes into its own. We can include the template path and as long as the email friendly template exists, everything is going to look great. As you'll see, we can identify where we'll create and save our email friendly templates using the TPL extension. And as mentioned, a separate video will take you through the creation of these custom templates. So, inserting a custom template, as you see, adding the template path, ensuring that you remove any reference to a comma at the end of the template syntax, will ensure that the display of this email content and the modules that have been embedded will appear exactly as you've defined in your custom templates. So these are some really awesome new features that are unique to the all-in-one platform of Business Catalyst. Talk to your clients this week about how you can help them enhance their open rates and enhance their customer engagement with smarter email campaigns through Business Catalyst.